My name is Robert Meyer and I'm a Territory Manager for Case IH. I'm Jacob Topp. My name's Cam Topp. Declan. I'm Braden Topp. Uh, Josh Burroughs. Jack. Aaron. Clint Burroughs. We're working on a 1938 Case Combine. An old Case A37 Combine. So it's a six foot cut. Big combine in its day. <laughs> Compared to the 35 and 40 footers we have today. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's, it's different. Different than any combine I've seen, at least in real life. We're doing this project uh, to rebuild this machine, and then we're going to take it to the outdoor. It's being taken to the outdoor farm show where it will be on display. It's a 4-H club project, uh, and the members are the ones that are, are doing the work. I've done this club every year that I've been in 4-H, and Always something new. This year it was a pretty interesting idea. I got involved, I've been in 4-H for 10 years now. One of my friends said about the farm machinery so at school, so I thought it would be fun to try. We got kids from just starting out. They don't even really understand what a tool is to kids like me that I've been doing this stuff for their entire life. It's, we're making pretty good progress right now. First we stripped off all the old paint and did some metal work to fix up the broken spots and stuff, and now we're in the process of repainting and replacing broken parts. Parts that aren't available anymore, so you have to manufacture everything yourself. So she's pretty old, and uh, we're just trying to get it cleaned up. Uh, painting it, redoing the doors, sheet metal. The straw hood at the back of the combine was kind of banged up and bent and twisted, and uh, we put a few of the kids on it one night and they worked away hammering and banging and bashing, they were right into it. <laughs> and if you look at it now, it's uh, just about as good as it can be. They straightened it all out and what was twisted in the back, the angle irons are all fixed and it uh, pretty looks good. So I was quite impressed by what they were able to accomplish. We've been grinding it because they had old paint and rust that was on it, so we grinded that all down. You gotta start painting it obviously and so you start painting it down and then in there too there's tons of broken stuff, broken boards, broken wood because uh, that's all they had back then to put stuff together. Biggest job is cleaning the dirt off it. <clears throat> they spent probably a third of their time uh, removing rust and old paint and dirt. I'd have to say probably the first meeting we everyone got a wire brush or a wire wheel on a drill. I've never seen rust come off so fast. You get 15 kids, all the drills and everything going, and they were all smiling. Everyone was happy and excited about it. Probably the sanding was my favorite part. Stuff where moisture always sits, it rusts out, and pieces like bearings and stuff that are always spinning and moving, move a lot of moving parts. It's, it's taken everything from fabrication and welding to design and build. It's been kind of neat. All kinds of fun stuff. It's all hands-on work. I like the painting. I mean, it's, it's a bit um, filthy, but it's, it's kind of fun. Biggest thing is for them to have a bit of um, vision of what the end result might be. They've done a lot. They've made a, a lot more progress than we thought they would. The kids have expressed an interest in being able to hold a wrench themselves, and uh, this is their chance, and they seem to enjoy it. Yeah, we should have it nice and tuned up and look good. Farm show. It was the first time I've ever seen a group of kids that excited about doing work. Uh, you call it blood, sweat, and tears. It's more like painting and rust and stuff flying and sparks. Yep, I'm enjoying myself big time. We're gonna try and get her done. <laughs>